Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, January 30th, and it's an S6 day. Lunch today is buffalo chicken dip. The SAT word of the day is preemptory, which means bossy or demanding. On the show today, we have an interview with Sad and some sports updates. Now sit back and relax because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to Term 3. I'm Renee Babineau. And I'm Tim Rose. Let's get started with some announcements. A representative from the Coast Guard will be visiting during lunches today. Also, German Club will meet today in room 237. All are welcome. Attention all seniors. You'll fill out paperwork about sizing during homeroom on Tuesday. Teachers should collect in the form in alphabetical order. After Tuesday, seniors should see Mr. Garzinski with $20 cash or check payable to Norwood High School. The Drama Club will meet today after school to get potential scripts for the spring play and to finalize plans for festival. Also, there will be a brief meeting for any senior students interested in participating in Style on the Hill on Thursday at 2.30 in the GSU. Please see Ms. Curtin if you cannot attend. Now we have some members of SAD in the studio to talk about an upcoming event they have. Here's Will Levesque with the interview. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Will Levesque here with SAD members Prina and Stephanie to talk about upcoming events this week. So uh, what are you hosting this Friday? We are hosting our first Happy Sad event, which will be a free yoga class instructed by Ms. Cone. It will be the first of many Happy Sad events that we will be hosting throughout this year. Uh, what is the uh, purpose of having a, a yoga class? Well, we know that students build up a lot of tension during the mid-year time because of all the grinding and studying. So we want to give students the opportunity to release all that tension and um, start the third term on a calm and tranquil note. What time is the yoga class and where is it? It will be at 3 p.m. on this Friday uh, at the NHS library, and mats will be provi provided, but please bring your own water bottle, and please invite your friends, because the more we have, the merrier it is. Okay, thanks. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Will. The deadline to purchase tickets for the Fine Arts Snowball is Monday. The semi-formal takes place on February 8th at the Sheridan Four Points in Norwood from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $35 each. Please see Mrs. Connor Mo Connor Moen or Mrs. Callaghan in the Fine Arts office to purchase tickets or with any questions. Now here's Kevin Curtis with your sports update. Good morning Mustangs, I'm Kevin Curtis here with your sports update. While we were away, boys basketball improved their record to 5-7 and, and girls basketball improved their record to 13-1. Gymnastics improved their record to 4 1, while wrestling has a record of 10 10 1. Girls, track fi girls track's final record for the season is 2 3, while the boys' final record is 1 4. Boys hockey has a record of 4 3 5, while girls hockey has a record of 6 5 3. Finally, swim and dive finished their season with a 2 5 record. At yesterday's swim meet, there were some remarkable races. Michaela Jordan qualified for states in the 100 breaststroke, and Jake Wilkinson got a personal best 100 freestyle time and won the 400 relay for the team. Now, here's some cell phone footage of Michaela's last length of her race. The swim, scene is se the swim team has seen a move from the fall season to the winter season with the league change. Junior staff reporters Heather Gagliard and Ali Giambanco report. The swim and dive season switched from fall to winter this year. Captain Michaela Jordan says that meant changing up the sport she plays. Because it moved swim to the winter, I was able to play soccer this fall, which was something I really looked forward to because I had to give it up to swim when I went to high school um, and also moved swim to the winter which kind of made me a little upset because I was supposed to do indoor track but I had to pick one sport over the other. Moving the seasons changed what sports some athletes could play it also impacted the after school activities that a few athletes were involved in. I couldn't participate in the fall show like the that NHS drama puts on so now that swim is a winter sport um, I can do both a fall show with NHS drama and a spring show, so I can do two shows a year along with my swim season. Head coach Kay Curtin says that moving the season to winter did change some things, but according to her, it had a positive effect. 
I think that's overall really improved our program. Um, we went from having 18 students, student athletes, uh, in the 20. 17 season to now having 35 student athletes on the team for the winter 2018-2019 season. For some swimmers, moving the season meant having to give up the sport altogether. Senior Aiden Mulligan has swam the 100 meter freestyle since freshman year. He says it was a difficult decision to leave. Pretty hard to give up swim because um, the swim team is really a big family. Like we had pasta dinners before every single meet and before every practice we'd hang out because you know there'd be some time before uh, the practice would start but everybody was always super nice you'd always hear people cheering you on and you know I'll miss that. And while Mulligan did end up switching to indoor track this year overall swimmers say the change in season did help add more diversity to the team. And it also opens up the team for more boys to join because a lot of the times people see an all-girls team and don't feel inclined to join if they're boys. With the TVL switch we are now officially a co-ed team and we're swimming against other co-ed teams so it's definitely increased the level of competition for both boys and girls in, this, in the program. The change in season coincides with a switch to a new league. After decades of being in the Bay State, Jordan says moving to the Tri-Valley is a new beginning for Nord Swim and Dive. I like the change because it's enabled our swim team to grow and we're really benefiting from more people being here and we get to meet new people and it also allowed me to play soccer and have a more competitive meets and games against people in the Tri-Valley. Coach Curtin says the team's excited to build what feels like a new program and they're all hoping together they can begin a new tradition of success. From what we've seen so far, everyone's really working hard and I think we're going to have a really successful season. Mustangs are swimming until February 3rd with home meets at the Westwood High Pool and the Dedham Pool. Reporting from Mustang Magazine, I'm Heather Gagliard. Welcome back. For more, content, well, for more content like that, be sure to check out our website for the latest installment of Mustang Magazine. Today for sports, boys and girls hockey both have games at Badgeco. The girls are facing Dover Sherborne at 4 and the boys are facing Ashland at 5.30. Finally, wrestling has a home meet against Hopkinton. Be sure to go out and support. That's all I have for today. For more Mustang Sports content, be sure to follow us at Ustang Sports on Twitter and check out Ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. And that's all that we have for today as well, but don't forget to check us out online at Mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time. Have a great term three, Mustangs.